Hello, I am I'm Martinez. My name is Itzel, and I'll be having my next giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. I will have questions during a live, and when I reach 450, I'll do the questions again in a premiere. Right now, let's see what palettes are up for grabs this go round. So be sure to share me out to help me get there. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Good morning, everyone. I am, I'm Martinez, my name is Isabel, and it's Favorites Fridays. It's episode 14, and let's ask Siri to pick a number. Siri, pick a number between one and 36. The answer is 35. Ooh, we haven't got this one. Oh, I weren't into novellas. La Reina del Flow. So, if you don't know about this novella, um, this drama series, like, Max or not even Mexican soap opera, it's Colombian soap opera. So, it's on Netflix. There's two seasons, and it has a lot to do with music and corruption so this one guy he wants to be a star he wants to you know leave you know his life behind and you know be an artist like a musician and he sings really well the only problem is he wants to be the kind of musician that's also a songwriter well he stinks at it and his uncle is a bad person and he gets him wrapped in all of his like you know dirty business so he ends up you know unaliving someone and the person that witnessed it was um someone that he like would work with musically and um this woman jamie and so it was his plan to make her fall in love with him so she wouldn't rat him out, tell on him. And that's where the story starts. So Jamie, she can sing, but she's also an amazing uh, songwriter. So, like, he convinced, like, him, what is his name? Um... His name is Charlie. So Charlie, Jamie, and Juancho, who is also a part of their team. And it seems like he does like more like sound effects. So I don't I don't quite understand how all that works. I'm not really like a musician. So like beats, like, you know, that's what he does. So um, you know, they got a, a deal to go to the US to record and um so Jamie wouldn't tell on him like after like um Charlie made made her fall for him. She um he plants um drugs on her and then she gets caught and has to stay in the US and it's this big mess and nobody believes her except for her grandma. Her parents had passed on because of the uncle's bad doings. He did it. Um, he had someone do it for him. So, so sad. So all she had was her grandmother and her friend Juancho who believed her. So she's stuck in prison and in prison she finds out that she's expecting a baby. So, yep, she has the baby. The baby is sent with her grandmother. Her grandmother comes and takes the baby and takes the baby back to Colombia. And then they're supposed to leave the area that they're in because they're in danger there. Um, if that bad guy finds out, well, he already found out. He found out, like, early on in her pregnancy because he had spies in the prison. So, 
he he takes grandma's life and takes the baby so and then sets the whole building on fire so they think that um everyone thinks that the grandma and the baby passed on together but in reality the baby's still living so that has a lot to do with the story him searching for his birth parents and her just you know she wants to get revenge on the guy that messed up her life and finding out that her son is alive after all this time it's just a happy happy moment like it was not what she was expecting she already like thought for so many years i think by this point it's like 18 years that he was gone and to realize he's not he's here it was like just the right like good thing in her life that she needed the right sunshine or whatever the light that her life so desperately needed all right favorite characters Huancho so Huancho um you know he's always on Jamie's side he loved her since they were kids and he's a really great guy and he tries to do the right thing now this gets complicated with him because there was somebody else from their childhood that he was dating he had no idea that Jamie was alive because they told everybody that she had passed on because uh that evil guy tried to you know make sure she wasn't around to like tell on them or whatever but it didn't work and then the u.s government wanted her to be undercover to find out stuff about him to get him behind bars so she agreed like she was able to get off early only if she completed her mission which was to you know find enough evidence to make him go to prison the bad guy um so she was doing that um so in in the process of all that going on he didn't know he didn't Juancho didn't know you know that she was back and in his life and all of that so he um he got married and you know he had a lot of conflict within himself you know finding out that she's here is the love of his life and all of that and um you know his wife purposely got pregnant because she knew too and she knew she was gonna lose him and it ended up being this whole big mess they were getting a divorce while she was pregnant and it's just yeah so it's a mess but it's like i feel like you have to be true to your feelings you can't just lead somebody on and act like you don't care like like it's it's gonna eat you up inside so yeah definitely Juancho and who else um what is his name no eric eric Bescoy, which he, um calls himself his uh his singer name and he is jamie's son jamie and charlie's son and i like him a lot i like that even though he was raised in that bad environment he's like this is the one i want for me this is the one i want for my life and he tried his best to get away from it so i like that i like that he was always striving to be better and to pursue what he wanted and he called himself best boy because he didn't want people to know his identity because so many people would just look at him and was like oh you're um manin that's the bad guy's name you're manin's son so and just look at him differently or not just his son but also charlie's little brother like he already had a music career so he's like i want to be famous on my own if i'm good enough so he came up with a name koi fish so like, i don't know why i don't know if they explained it but maybe they did but i don't know i grew to like him a lot and Uh, Hema, in English it's just Gemma, who is Charlie's wife. 
Now, she she covered up all of his messes and all of that. But, you know, when she had finally enough and she wanted, you know, her own career, her own... A life that didn't revolve around him. Like, you know, she took her life back with full reins and didn't mind throwing him under the bus. Like, a lot of things went down and sadly, you know, she, um, she didn't make it. Like... But, yeah, like, I I like that, you know, when people finally stand up for themselves and pick them instead of living their life for other people all the time. They're like, you know what? It's my life and I matter too. Yeah, I like that. So those are my three main favorites and least favorite characters. Mami, um, you know, he's just a really bad evil guy and he... It seems like he um he got his brother out of the way because he was always in love with his brother's wife. So I was like, that's messed up. You took a father away from his son. You took a husband away from his wife. Like, and all like the bad things, like the drugs and all the other things, like just horrible. All the death he caused, like. And I don't like that. I don't like people that do all these bad things just because they can or they want to. Like, I don't like that. So, Charlie, I did not like him. I really like him in season two, but in season one, mm -mm, I could not stand him. And, yeah, and, like, just walking all over people, doing all these bad things, pretty much following in his uncle's footsteps. But in season two... You know, he really wanted to change for his daughter. He has a daughter. And for his son, at first, he was like, what the heck? And, like, didn't know how to feel about it. But he really came around to it and accepting it and really wanted to win them back. So, yeah, like, I, I liked him on season two. And, um, other least favorite characters... Um, <laughs> Catalina, I think that was her name, um, who was Juancho's wife, I did not like her, um, just like, you know, getting pregnant on purpose, and being kind of, like, annoying to his siblings to make them want to move out, just because she no longer wanted to live with them, because Juancho raised them that they were little kids, his, I don't know what happened to his father, but I think his mother just abandoned them. I can't remember exactly what happened. So, yeah, I did not, I don't like her at all. And she was very much me, 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 and screw you, and all this stuff. Even in season two, when she came back, it was all about, you know, well is, well is her, and all this stuff. And I just, I didn't like that. Um, what did I dislike about the show? Oh, I think I skipped. I think I skipped what I liked about the show. I think I went straight to favorite characters because I got busy telling you what I liked. All right, let's go back to what I liked and then what I disliked. So what I liked about the show, I liked hearing all the music. I liked, you know, the perseverance, just even though things look dark and they look bad, keep going and achieve your dreams and, you know, <laughs> help put the bad guys away. Like, I like that. What I disliked was just all the corruption and all the all the lives lost, like when they didn't need to be. Like that's what I disliked about the show. Why would I recommend the show to another person? If you love drama and you know shows that are in Spanish and like music, I think this is for you. Lots of drama, lots of music, lots of fun lots of kind of being on the edge of your seat not knowing what's going to happen so yeah definitely check the show out let me know what you thought of it and um have a great weekend be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video bye